I am Martina, an Italian singer-songwriter and a student at the University of the West of Scotland. I don't think I've ever discovered my passion for music. I've always been passionate about it since I was a child. And I've just, I've just been so lucky that my parents gave me the opportunity to study music and pursue my passion. I think my music inspirations were actually my parents because they used to sing to me a lot. Not just lullabies before going to sleep, you know. Uh, even, I don't know, I remember my mother singing to me Celine Dion and my father Simon and Garfunkel and Francesco De Gregori, that is my favorite Italian singer songwriter. So the first time I've ever performed live, it was when I was five years old or something. And I performed with a, with a 15 years old girl, like a teenager. And she, because she was grown up enough to realize and understand what was going on, she was terrified and, and really nervous. But uh, even if there were, there, were, there were like a lot of people, I couldn't actually under, understand what was going on. So uh, I think I was, re I was better at entertaining the audience than I am now. Being a stage, it feels like you just took a dose of dopamine. You're just like scared, but happy and uh, excited and energized. And it's amazing. It's one of the main reasons why I love being an artist. I would describe my music as intimate and descriptive because I do like to write narrative songs most of the times. And I usually, um, describe my characters tell, by, by telling few details about them. I find inspiration uh, from different kind of sources, um, but um, most of the times, like there, there's Elizabeth Gilbert, that is the author of uh, Eat, Pray and Love, the book, um, that describes the inspiration as a sort of demon that goes through you and something that comes and goes and, and it comes from like distant sources for unknowable reasons. And I think it's true most of the times. But otherwise, you can easily get inspiration by whatever really, like pictures or movies or a sentence or even just a word, a color or a concept. Um, my favorite song to perform live is probably Sweet Dreams by The Arrhythmics. I mean, there are many, but if I had to pick one, it would be this one. Because I really like the arrangement, the musical arrangement that we made with uh, a, guitar a guitarist that I used to play with in Italy. And every time we have to pick the songs to perform on stage, I'm like, dude, we're gonna do this one. My most memorable moment as a performance is probably when I had the chance to, to play and to perform at the Music Auditorium in Rome. It was full of people and it was amazing. There's definitely a difference from Scottish and Italian audience. I'm just going to share with you like a really funny experience. So I was in this uh, pub in Rome called Druid Rocks. Druid Rock, don't remember and it was filled with Scottish people because of the Seven Nations or something. And I'm just gonna say that the night ended up with uh, people dancing on the tables and a, a bunch of really drunk guys taking me over their shoulders and dragging me around the pub. It was crazy. I say the music industry as a com really complex system as, a, as any industry is, it's full of mechanisms and processes and it's all about business and marketing and that turns around music, uh, but it's, it's more its commercial side and it's really interesting and a really important part of it. Uh, the first time I recorded a single in a studio uh, with my producers was amazing 
But I think I've just been really lucky to find a producer that deeply and immediately understand, understood my kind of music. Of course I have dreams for the future. And the big dream at the moment is uh, to record the, a new EP. Not the one that is going to come out now, but uh, one that is probably, hopefully, going to come out in next summer. Uh, because I really care about the themes I'm going to talk about. Not that I have a long time experience, but I would I will advise them to be confident because um, if they're doing it because they're passionate, I know that it, it can be scary, but if they're doing it because they're passionate about this, um, they don't have to, to be worried about the future because they, they will end up doing what they like, no matter what. But if they're doing it because they l like the idea of being a celebrity, then pick another job kit. So the project we're working on right now with my producer and the record label Timmy Records is an, is an EP that is going to come out in December uh, slash January and it's full of interesting songs including Cold Water and Branches and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna introduce it step by step on my Facebook page so if you'd like to know more about it you can just go on the Facebook page and you will find information about it. So, Branches is a really interesting song. Um, it's a collaboration, right? So, there's this Italian singer songwriter, Staff Reali, that is an amazing artist, uh, called my producer and it was like, So, I wrote this song and I want Martina to sing it. And so, I heard the song and I was like, I think we should sing it together. So, we met, we went to his uh, studio, we recorded the song, we liked it, and we decided to publish it. And that was it, and that was amazing. And the song is actually about love patterns, but it's really interesting, I think, because usually love songs are either I fell in love with you, love is amazing, life is beautiful, I'm happy, marry me. Or I fell in love with you, but you don't like me back, so I'm depressed, life sucks. This one is more about how, uh, how love changes and evolves during a long-term relationship and how it comes and goes. So, and it's really descriptive as well. And I don't know, I love it. Mm -hmm.